Hey, Eddie from the Batcave here. How's everybody doing this week? I'm going to show you my pulls from this week and last. A couple book reviews that I had time to read because last week I was down, down and out. I was not feeling good at all. But I'm back, vibrant, smiling, just to do this bit for you. So, but first, I want to give a shout out to AJ. My girl out there is not feeling well. Um, I hope you're feeling a lot better. I know Cole's taking care of you. And he probably got your Spawn comics and your gaming laptop. So you better listen to the doctor. Do what they tell you to do. All right? All right. Let's get going. First off, new from Marvel Comics, the sensational She-Hulk. I mean, She-Hulk. Issue number one. I got the Art Germ variant. Read this before I came on. I actually enjoyed it. It was pretty cool. Look at that. This is a beautiful cover. I might have to put that down for cover of the year. Well, one of the listing of it. All right? But it was actually a good story. Can't wait to read number two. All right. From DC, Robin number 10. Explains the details of Ra's al Ghul, his grandfather. The, almost like an origin type thing. Uh, wasn't a bad story. I, I actually pretty uh, enjoyed it. There we go. That's that. Another book that I enjoy reading, Nightwing number 88. I got the variant cover. Look at how cute these two are. Uh, look how cute. Uh, beautiful cover. The story was pretty good. Uh, I want to tell you more about it, but you got to buy the book. So... Pretty good. I enjoy that. They haven't let me down yet on Nightwing. Also from DC, Batman Catwoman Special, number one from Black Label. Had a variety of artists or writers. That's that. This one. I haven't read that yet. <clears throat> Storyline continues. Uh, Detective Comic Book 1049. Prisoner of the Mind. I have not read this yet. But so far, I've been enjoying the storyline with the tower. That's that. Uh, Detective 1050. I got one of the variants. I know it's a two-sided thing. Here's the other variant. But I have with this one. Lee Barry Jr. Look at that. This is a cool cover. I like that. All right. So that's what I got for this week and last week. And now, book a review. The Amazing Spider-Man, The Death of the Stacys. Have, um, if you want to read the classic, this is a good book. And this also um, tells you the story about Gwen Stacy and, and her father, uh, Detective Stacy, how, you know, what happened to them during the fight scene with Dr. Octopus and Green Goblin. Uh, really good. You know, it, it kind of makes Spider-Man what he is today, basically. And that is my opinion. But uh, good stuff. If you see this buy it you won't be disappointed if you want to have the feeling of old storytelling right here good artwork was not disappointed and again i have plenty of time to read it so that's that i got this from i forgot where i got it from i wasn't happy with the people because the covers was kind of damaged but midtown had a wicked on sale but i was too late and it was already gone but if you find this for really cheap pick it up you won't be disappointed that's that another book that i enjoy was decades marvel in the 60s Really good. It's all about Spider-Man, really, um, meeting all the, the superheroes from the early ages of Marvel's career. The Avengers, helping them fi or fighting against them. The Hulk was one of them. Daredevil, there was a couple stories with Daredevils in there. Old-time reading. I felt like a little kid again reading it. Awesome. I really, um, if you see it, and it's not sale, pick it up. You won't be disappointed. Also, if you're a fan of Castle from the TV show of ABC... I finally read this. It was a short story read. Pretty good, and it was funny. Artwork was great. Uh, I think Tom King was involved in this. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, Brian Michael Bendis. I'm sorry. And Kelly Sue Dominic. Not bad. The artwork was pretty good. I actually enjoyed the artwork. There we go. And, uh, again, the story was pretty good. And it, and it kept being funny. So I was not disappointed with that. So, and this was only two bucks. All right, guys. That's all I have for you, short and sweet. Um, anything you want to talk about, you give me a holler, you let me know. As always from the Batcave, this is Eddie Nieves. See ya.